Hello everybody and welcome to another one of my YouTube videos. Today we're going to be playing World of Warships, but I'm going to show you how to enable replays in World of Warships. There was an article on the World of Warships forum written by Brind, uh, who's a Wargaming staff, that gives you instructions on how to enable replays. Even though it's not officially recognized, the functionality is there and you can turn it on by hacking one of, just one of the files. So um, all the instructions are there and it will be I'll, you know, add this link to the textual description of this, this YouTube video. So, um, yeah, to actually, to actually get it, actually make the changes, all you need to do, if I can just sort out the stuff here, it's, if you go to your World of War ships, uh, game folder, mine is on the E drive, but yours will be installed wherever you've installed it. And the file you need to modify is preferences. Now, the first thing you need to do is take a copy, and that's what my preferences underscore back is. That's a copy I've made, um, just in case you mess something up and you need to reinstate the original file. So, make a copy of preferences first, and then if I just open up preferences back at the moment, uh, to start off with, I'll open up in Notepad. This is what the file actually looks like before it's modified. Uh, it's an XML file, and it's basically this. It's just, you know, just parameters that are used in the game. So the section you're looking for is script preferences, which is the section right at the, at the end of the section here. And all we'll be doing is adding two more parameters to the bottom of this this, to this section, just before the sort of you know, closing tag. So if I open up the actual preferences file, where I've made the changes, and if you scroll down, these, they, if you look right at the bottom of the page, uh, just just before the sort of closing script preferences tag, those are the two fields that needs to go in. The is replay enabled, which is set to true, and a replay camera update, which is set to 30. And these are just figures that I've taken from the actual sort of forum article. I have no idea what replay camera update 30 means, but that's what they said you should do, and that's what I've done. So. And that's all you really need to do, just copy and paste those two parameters into this file like the, and you're just before the sort of closing script preferences tag. And that's all the changes you need to make. So, um, sort of, you know, close that down. The replays, uh, once they start recording, will be put in the sort of replays folder in, in the War, World of War Games, War, Warships uh, directory. And those are the four games that I've had so far in my St. Louis. And the last one uh, was a particularly good one. That's the one I'm going to show you. So all you need to do is click on the replace file. Now the replay functionality isn't completely, you know, it's not 100% completed yet. So it, if you double click it, it won't know which program to actually, you know, open it up with. And you've got to tell it that. And, and on here, it's already sort of shown it's recommended, you know, World of Warships. But that's because I've, I've associated that program with this, with this, with this file before. So in, what you'd have to do is basically go to browse and then find yeah, World of Warships folder. And if I can just find it, go into games, go into World of Warships, and then there's the application, and that's the one you select, and then tell it to open it, you know, all for you know future files with this application. So yeah, if we just do that now, um, I had a, li a little bit of a problem with. Uh, uh, my video sort of capturing program, Bandicam, which it didn't seem to like because I was, I was recording the, uh, a window and then it went into, in the application. So there was a bit of a, bit of a, a problem there, but it, it does work. If we just open this up and here, here it is loading the, um, uh, World of Warships opening page. And this is the, you know, the initial matchmaker. As you can see, it's a, a pretty even split for a change. There's three battleships on either side, uh, and a pile of sort of cruisers and destroyers. So um, yeah, it's, a, it's the most one of the most even battles I've had. So I'll just wait for everyone to load in. Nearly there. Nearly, nearly there. 
I'm not sure if this is because of my video, you know, capturing sort of software that's making, you know, making it slightly slower than it was before. But if you if you just watch the replay, it's a lot, you know, opens a lot faster than this is. And here we are. This is, uh, you know, a replay recorded by the World of Warships um, program. And as you can see, I can now you can you left mouse click and uh, I get the free camera up, it's just like you can do in World of Tanks. Have a good look around your ship. This is my St. Louis cruiser, which I've just about sort of elited, got all the sort of equipment modules maxed out. And as you can see, we're on this map, and I'm, <laughs> as my friend um, Steele says, at the tip of the spear, which is not particularly where I want to be because. One of the first things you need to realise in World of Warships is that the first ship that's spotted is usually the one that gets taken out. So, uh, you know, even though I'm in the St. Louis and it's a pretty tough, you know, tier three American cruiser, I don't want to be the first ship that gets spotted and shot at. So, what I'm planning to do is sail around <laughs> and get behind that uh, battleship that's coming coming this way. Some some of you may say that I'm going to cower behind the battleship, but um, it's just my play style. <laughs> I'm going to provide support for that battleship, um, but I don't want to be the thing that the enemy will be shooting at. So <clears throat> I turn around and I start sailing towards you know the rear of that battleship. No enemy ships are spotted at the moment, but um, yeah, that will soon change. The, the one thing you need, need to realize, about, realize with the St. Louis is, I mean, it, although it has a lot of guns, I mean, a lot of guns, it's one of the, the, the most fun sort of low tier cruisers you can, you, can, you can get. It isn't particularly fast, so if you do get into trouble, it's very hard to, to run away unless you've got a, a, a good lead. So, that, you know, that's another reason not to be at the front because if there is a wall of ships coming around that uh, top right hand corner, you know, it's very hard to, to, to get away. They will they will be faster than you and they'll close a range you know quicker than you can you can run away from. So we've got into position just behind the battleship and this other cruiser and I'm gonna you know back them up. Oh one of the enemy ship spotted there, another ship spotted another two ships spotted, another three. So there's quite a few enemy ships coming this way, so I'm glad that I am where I am. I have a speculative shot at that uh, cruiser, but um, yeah, I don't think I've got the range there. And there's this other St. Louis by the looks of it. I have a shot at him. We've got the shells arcing out from the St. Louis, so just the sheer number. Uh, those look like land behind him, so I'm going to aim in front of the cruiser. Let's see if this second salvo hits him. Yeah, that's, that's the range. That does four good hits there. Fire again. Just making sure to, to see where those other enemy ships are. So I'm going to start turning back now. As you can see, there's at least five enemy ships, six enemy ships in that corner. So there's quite a lot of the enemy there, and I don't want to, as I said, I've, the St. Louis is quite slow. So I'm going to maneuver early to get away. This enemy St. Louis looks like he's grounded himself on this island, and I get a massive salvo of six shots into him there. Then he starts moving. Our oh, second salvo goes a bit wide. Oh, I've got some incoming fire. He's shooting back at me. Let's see if I can dodge. Yeah, yeah, slightly out of range, so it's fine. He's not hidden behind this rock, but I'm um, just going to see if I can arc the shot. My shot's over the top of that crest, and I can. And I get another two sh two hits in. Let's launch another salvo. And this is why everyone loves the St. Louis. It's just the sheer volume of fire. You know, with the number of guns shooting and the, the speed it reloads, you can, you know, even if you miss the first salvo, you can quickly get the range and start, you know, peppering people with just huge amounts of shells. And there's another three that go in. And I get another salvo coming, but the enemy St. Louis goes up. And just see if I can dodge these shots here. Dodge, 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 dodge. Yeah! Skills that kills. <laughs> Not a scratch. Right, time to go because as you can see, there's at least seven um, 
seven, six or seven uh, enemy ships in that in that top right hand corner, which is you know, which also means that the enemy doesn't really have that many ships down south. So if we can gang up on the, the sort of lone ships down there, we're gonna be able to polish them off quite quickly. So that's my plan. Just looking for shots to see if anything's in range. Just see that destroyer, but um, keeps disappearing in the smoke. I have a shot, but they look like they're well behind him. Yeah, in the full shot. So aim a little bit in front. Let's see if this is any better. No, they're going to fall, fall behind him as well. So he looks like he's a bit too far for me to hit accurately. So I'm going to sort of concentrate on this guy who's a lot closer to me, only eight kilometres away. Our uh, sort of ranging volley, and the range is good. We get three shots. Three hits in there. Uh, yeah. Start peppering in with shots now. He's almost dead as well. Watch another salvo. Yeah. Just one hit. Oh, they were all good. But that's the accuracy sometimes. Those are a bit too. I think he must be turning away, but then, then he goes up. And now there's this enemy battleship. Going to turn, turning towards, towards it initially, and then I decide, you know, what the hell am I doing? I don't want to, don't want to trade shots with the battleship. So I start turning the other way, sort of just skirt the edge of this island, launch a salvo at the battleship, plunging fire. Yeah, that's good. Another two shots. For about a thousand points of damage. And then he disappeared behind this island, so I've got to uh, still get another two shots in. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of our ships down south there. We've got at least five ships down south, so if the enemy battleship engages them, I'll be able to shoot at him without um, fear of attack. There's an enemy destroyer coming in as well. It looks like he's running parallel to me, so it looks like I might be getting some good shots into him. And the the Lewis St. Lewis is very good at killing destroyers because you're out of fire. You can find you know find loads and loads of shots, and you know one or two of them will hit and damage destroyers. So firing at that battleship, those shots that can go completely wild. And but here comes a destroyer. I want to salvo at him, but he starts turning just as my shots arrive. He's trying to run away, launch another volley, and yeah, that really hits him for a lot of damage. Let's see if I can finish him off. No, the shot's for a while, he's spiked the speed up again. Just trying to get his range, but he, before I can do that he goes up. The score is 3-3, three, three, so it's still quite even. We've got the south, but they've got the north. I'm turning to get shots at this battleship. There he is. The torpedoes going in. One hit, by the looks of it. Oh, and I finish him off. He goes out. Right, that looks like the south all cleared. Now we can start moving forwards. We only have two battleships and three cruisers, whereas we have one battleship remaining, four cruisers, and two destroyers. So those two destroyers need to get their torpedo hits in because those two enemy battleships could be, could be the problem and we need to stay together we need to be able to concentrate fire so I'm heading towards our other two ships just looking to see if I can get shots I'm going to take some speculative shots here to see if I can do some you know, cheeky damage they will miss for everywhere but where he is. The second salvo. Yeah, fall short again. Or another one. And yeah, finally get the range. We'll get one hit into it. Or again in front of him, but he looks like he's turning away, so my shots are gonna fall short again. Alright, last salvo, just getting over the edge of that top of that mountain. They look like they miss as well. So we'll come around here 
I'm going to slow down now. Come to a stop. So I want to keep the silence between me and the enemy ships. There's a enemy cruiser. He's heading straight at me. I'm going to set him on fire. And I switch to AP because he's he's you know he's coming straight at me and AP does more damage to ship you know, ship that are heading in your direction. But then he starts turning. It looks like an enemy St. Louis, and then he goes out. Um, I've got this island between me and the enemy. Let's see if I can see anything else. That's not my ship, but he's, <laughs> he wasn't going that way. He's going this way. So one shot goes wild, the others I launch. And they're good. That's three hits, and one of them was a hit on the Citadel as well. So I put a bit of damage in. Launching another salvo, yeah, more hit, hitting him, another two. Oh, I've got an enemy ship firing at me, luckily they're falling short, so I'm going to concentrate on him because he's a lot closer. And against enemy sort of low tier destroyers, anything that isn't the St. Louis, you will you have a massive sort of firepower advantage. At this range, you know, just the amount of shells you'll be get at, be, get at, be able to get off compared to you know, the sort of smaller tier cruisers is amazing and you'll easily make short work of them if you can hit them, obviously, which I obviously can't. No idea where that shots were going. He was turning, I should have, you know, re aimed, but. Yeah, and then probably going to fall short, he's beginning to move a little bit faster, but then, you know, the rest of the team finish him off. The score is now 7 4. We've got two battleships and a cruiser. They've got two battleships and a cruiser left. We're still we've got a fair number of cruisers. And there's the enemy battleship. Don't think we're going to get a shot at him. And I shoot at this other battleship hidden behind this this rock here. This maneuvering round. I bring my broadside. St. Louis cruiser. Launch a salvo. And it's good. Get a critical hit. It's quite a long range, so oh, just a bit too front of the target there. We just might aim, but he begins to turn. And I don't think no. I'm not gonna get any shots at him. So he looks like he's getting a bit too far for me to shoot at, so I've got this this battleship to shoot at instead. He's probably going to be moving a little bit slower, but you still have to hit him. You just my aim. Launch another salvo. Here we go. We got a couple of shots in. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to just read just a little bit more in front of him. Give him a little bit more. Look at that. That was seven shots that hit there. See, with the with the St. Louis sort of supporting, you can you can make short work of battleships as well. Just just from the just from the DPM, just from the rate of fire, that enemy battleship disappeared behind that island. So I switch back to this this one heading this sort of parallel to me. He's not shooting at me, which is great. Start launching salvos at him. Plunging fire, another three hits, about two thousand points of damage. Another salvo, eight shots. Here they go. Six of them hit. And this is what St. Louis is really good at. Look at that. Another 1500 points of damage with five hits. Oh, this battleship's taking the pace. In. Another five hits. Yeah, he's on fire. All kinds of problems. Another four hits, another thousand points of damage. Yeah, and it goes up. And it's just the one enemy battleship left, but yeah. Um, fortunately, the replays end rather abruptly, and that seemed to cause a problem with my video capturing program. Bandicam didn't seem to like that, and I had to, you know, close it with a task task manager. Um, but um, other than that, the replay system works, seems to work quite well. So um, yeah, that's my um, first recording of a, a replay of World of War. Warships replay. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And now that um, you know the replay system is kind of working, you know you don't have to. I'm hoping to put out more content. 
I don't have to record every game I play just to just to get one that's a, a good one. So uh, yeah, it should make things a lot lot easier. So um, yeah, catch you next time.